Hi, I'm Mark King, Investment Editor at Columbia Threadneedle Investments, and here's what's in my weekly column. After the excesses of the festive season, a lot of us see New Year as an opportunity to improve our health or get back into physical shape. But January is also the ideal time to give yourself a financial overhaul, and this can involve everything from checking your savings and investments are on the right track, to ensuring that you're spending as little as possible on the likes of your mortgage, utility bills and tax. Regularly checking how well your funds and other assets in your portfolio are performing is hugely important, and most investment professionals say this should be done at least once a year. So take the opportunity in January to check how well your investments are performing. But of course, don't panic if there's a short-term blip in performance. Instead, investigate, and if in any doubt, speak to an independent financial advisor before selling up. Now is also the time to think about whether your own attitude to risk has changed and whether the makeup of your portfolio needs to change to reflect this. For example, if you've recently come into a large inheritance, you may be happy to take more risk, given that you now have more money to fall back on. On the other hand, if you're within a few years of retirement, 2017 might be the time to start reducing the level of risk in your investments. It's worth taking the same analytical approach to your pension, but the key question here is whether your fund is on course to deliver the retirement income you need. If your pension doesn't look likely to generate the income you'd hoped for, you could try to increase the amount you pay in every month. Reducing your household expenditure can be a simple way of freeing up cash to put into your pensions or investments, so look at where savings can be made. Your biggest outgoing is likely to be your mortgage, so check whether you would be in a position to move to a cheaper deal. Finally, think about how dependent your family is on your income and assets, and consider protecting them with a suitable serious illness or life insurance policy, not to mention an up-to-date will. See you next week.